Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a fantabulous couple in love that loves reacting to some Fallout. Yes, we do. So Fallout uh, is coming out with a TV show and on Amazon. So teaser trailer for Fallout. We're going to check that out. Uh, we did a whole Fallout journey yep. where we uh, checked out uh, the storyteller um, from Shoddycast. Uh, so we got a lot of lore for, for Fallout. So yeah, looking forward to it. Um, we always like, we're like, you know, they should make a TV show of this. And you know, you know what? They did. They, they did. Listened, they listened to us. Definitely. We're the reason this happened. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Ready? Ready. I know that I've lived a relatively comfortable life. In a vault? Mm -hmm. Stop! Mercy! So let's destroy it. You need to go home. Vault dwellers are an endangered species. Vault dwellers are an endangered species. You would be of course, it's Fallout. Do what it takes to survive up here. Giant bug. Yeah. I would have barked at that too. Oh wow. If you insist on staying, <gasps> you will have to adapt. Oh. oh! Dog meat? Uh-huh. <laughs> Ooh, from the boys. And free two-day shipping. <laughs> hey! Oh my god! Oh. I mean, it's just a brotherhood, but I mean, it looked like, you know. Yeah. Could be the storyteller. Could have been. Love the music. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. 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 I grabbed a moldy one. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Ooh. Death claw is net. Ugh. Shoot! Things sticking out of her eye! Yep. Nice, I like how they did the logo. Yeah. April 12th, wow. Okay. That's the best part. The studio that brought you the boys and free two day shipping. That was awesome. <laughs> Love that they added humor in there because, you know, it's a dark, dark world. Yeah. So you got to add some of that uh, humor. And like for me, that's when the, the trailer really started to like kick in, is after they had that little joke and sort of like broke the tension. A little bit. Um, it's like, like they built it up uh, going in there. It's like, okay, there's this huge wa wasteland. Um, this person's like escaping a vault. And like, if you haven't played the game even, like, or like really checked out this world, you kind of don't know like what's going on. You're like, oh yeah. God, another like post apocalyptic uh, TV show. Great. Like, I want to see that again. Um, so adding that in there and then like showing like how this world is different and the, like, the different, you know, creatures you see and the, and, and whatnot. I thought like, that's when it really captured my attention. Yeah, I I have to admit because Fallout, by the very nature of the premise, has the potential to just be so dark and so depressing and so horrific. Mm -hmm. So the free two day shipping and then the guy with the the spitting back in his coffee cup, yeah, and chose a moldy one. I'm like, okay, like thank goodness because that's one of the reasons why. I, we love the storyteller so much was mm -hmm. that the humor that was injected in the midst of all this horror made it palatable. Yep. Um, and I'm not sure that you really want like a nuclear apocalypse to be palatable as like a mm -hmm. message, but it makes it, 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 it allows it to be attainable for us and accessible. And so that was, that was everything. And video game adaptations have been on a roll lately. I feel like yeah. they've been uh, done very well. Um, and just like, yeah, they, 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 they've been smart about it. Um, to give the nods to the fans of the show and still make it accessible to people that 
don't know it as much. Yeah. Um, you know, cause I'm sure like, uh, cause we saw a bunch of stuff just, you know, having checked out our, our journey for the storyteller um, in this that we recognize. And I imagine like playing the games, you've been a fan of the franchise for like, you know, decades. Then there was like a ton of Easter eggs, I'm sure in this that they, that they showcase. But I still felt like it would appeal to, uh, to a wider audience. Um, so I'm excited for it. Also, just how far CGI has come yeah. blows my mind. I mean, the the guy who had no nose. Yeah. And I I know, I'm like, they could not have hired a no-nose actor. Like, I know this actor must have a nose and they had to have put something on there so that they could fill it in with CGI to be the whole, but like... No, they did because there was a big outrage that they weren't giving that role to, a no, to no-nose actors. And so they're like, what the hell? You know, why not give no-nose actors a, <laughs> a chance? Anyway, I, I was like, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for where it doesn't look real. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find a spot. And if you haven't checked out our storyteller journey, that's okay. You're forgiven. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, somewhat. Yeah, I mean, you can, you know, you can check, you can check it out. Uh, you got, you've got playlists and stuff. But Bucky in that, like, all of a sudden <laughs> just start would, would bark. And like, all of a sudden, like... Maybe like, I don't know, uh, two thirds of the way through our, our, our journey, maybe halfway through our journey. All of a sudden he just did not like uh, a certain character in that show and with good reason. I don't want to spoil it for you in case you do check it out. Um, so it was just kind of fitting that, I mean, he uh, growled and, and, and barked during this one with seeing like a giant freaking A huge bug. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Nuclear bug. I will say Bucky is an excellent judge of character. Yes, this is true. Yes. So, so there's that. And if you haven't watched our Fallout journey, maybe if you don't even know much about this world, like the storyteller journey that we went on was a wonderful way to learn. So yeah. I would highly encourage you to check it out. We have a playlist for that down below in the description of this video. You can go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Fallout Story, uh, Fallout Storyteller. See, I'm so used to saying it, for the Fallout <laughs> teaser trailer, which keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>